Hey guys, it is day 14 of the trip, and today is cruise ship boarding day. So, um, our cruise ship is um, Royal Caribbean Spectrum of the Seas. So, we're gonna be boarding that in, I think, around at one or something like that. I don't remember, but yeah, we're just gonna board, check in our cabin. Our room is very nice because it is one of the um, balcony rooms. We've never really had that before, actually, so. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, I have been on Royal Caribbean before and this experience was okay. It wasn't really like good as Princess Cruises. Princess Cruises is like one of my favorites because service and everything else was just great. Um, but we'll see what this Royal Caribbean is like because it's been a while since we've been on it and Spectrum by the Seas is one of their newest ships in their fleet, so. Yeah. Noodles came last day in Singapore. And, yeah. All right, so we just checked out of the hotel and we are now making our way towards the cruise ship. Finally made it on the cruise. Um, just gotta go into my room. Yeah, it was just, it was crazy back there at the um, uh, terminal. I don't wanna really talk about it, so. That's crazy. Right now we are on the ship. Right now we are headed to our muster stations. I can't believe like they're already doing it already this early. Like usually they do it like when we're on the boat, getting settled down, having some lunch, but I guess now is more better than like later. So, we're just gonna go to our muster stations, I guess. Let's just get this over with. This is our room. Holy cow. I'm really, this is impressive. We've I actually, I yeah, I think somebody is just deep. Yeah. We've actually, I can't believe it. We never gotten, we never got like, we never had a balcony deck to ourselves and this is just crazy like i can't believe it this is insane it's so spacious too look at this view this is crazy it's just so uh beautiful i also can't believe how like the safety training was like immediate and more like it's not because when I was in cruise ships before, they basically have this like safety training, like like couple hours when you're on the ship and it's not like I'm uh, moving already. And so like what they do is that they just basically like, you have to get your stuff from your room, like the life vest, everything. And then you have to gather to your muster station, all that stuff. And then now like when I went on, they just, we immediately went to the muster station and then they just gave us like a, sort of like a private safety training. I, I love that so much. I can't believe how like cruise ships have changed like five years ever since I've been on a cruise. It's crazy. And now I'm uh, currently waiting for my parents. So we're gonna go get some cruise ship food at the buffet and I'm uh, gorge the F out. <sighs> yeah, and then I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm uh, basically just <laughs> work off all that food I'm gonna eat <laughs> in a couple minutes. <laughs> plate of food as you can tell it is loaded with a bunch of carbs yeah we just finished lunch that was 
Oh boy. I have a really love-hate relationship for buffets. And yeah, my stomach feels so bloated. Now we're just gonna walk around the cruise ship. currently in the dining hall now um so our appetizers came i got the escargot my mom got the crab cake and my dad got the avocado salad so i'm not gonna really record myself eating i don't know just because like why not it's just it's just yeah just food our main courses have arrived i got the prime rib my mom she got the fish my dad also got a prime rib my aunt's got the noodle and the seafood and the um, fish. And we also got an extra noodle because we just wanted to try it. It's kind of a dessert has arrived. I got the apple crumble and the waiter was kind enough to give me two scoops even though I didn't ask for it, but I'm, I'm still grateful. Because you're the youngest one at the table. And my mom got the chocolate custard, which is actually really good. Like I had some of this. This is actually one of my favorites, but we're gonna try this apple it's crumble good, huh? off camera, unfortunately. So I'll let you guys know how it tastes. So um, my family and I just finished dinner. Dinner was very good. Like the prime rib was really juicy, medium rare, tender. Um, uh, escargot was pretty decent. And not as good as Princess Cruz's escargot, but I liked it. And the dessert, my God, the dessert was just phenomenal. Like the ap that apple crumble was like, so delicious and like even especially with the two scoops of ice cream so right now we are um uh, on the on the upper decks just like walking off all that food and it is so beautiful outside like i can see so many stars you can't really see it but like it's like pitch black there's the moon up there though it is just so beautiful without all these city lights it's just oh man i i miss cruises like I do have love-hate relationships for cruise ships because one, you get too full on like all that food and it, it, could, it sucks because like you just like have a... But yeah, I, I, I just love that I'm on a cruise like after five years. It's just amazing. Yeah, like, it's good to be back on cruises. So I just got back to the cabin. Took a shower and I'm uh, getting ready to go to sleep. Um, uh, I have to wake up at four tomorrow in the morning so I can attend class, which was moved to like online last minute. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. But my cruise first, first in five years. That is. Yeah, it, it feels so good to be back on a giant ship and um, indulge. Uh, yeah, although, in my opinion, I feel a little bit sick and tired of cruises. I don't know, maybe it's because of the food and the entertainment, the way it's set up, so... That's just me, I don't know, but... I, I, I'm just glad that my family made this happen. It, it, it's just... It, it was amazing how everything was all set up. So I'll see you guys day 15 tomorrow. Um, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome from the cruise ship. It is currently day 15 and we have arrived in Kuala Lumpur already. So we're going to go get some breakfast first and then we are going to make it onto shore. Um, yeah, to go explore Kuala Lumpur for the day. So. 
I got a couple of slices of fruit. I just wanted to start the day off with like something organic because before I like start to stuff myself with a bunch of like other junk from the buffet. So there's that. I'm back with breakfast. Um, yeah, this is my plate. Not as loaded as yesterday. So we have just, I just finished breakfast and now I am headed towards the theater to um, uh, disembark to Kuala Lumpur um, with the family. Um, uh, so I'm just meeting them in the theater and then yeah, we'll go on from there. So first time in Malaysia, this is going to be pretty fun. the entrance to the Batu Caves and holy crap you can see a ton of monkeys out here this is like I've never seen these guys this is wild I mean I did see one monkey when I was in Ali Shan but no there's like a ton of these guys here oh this one here is just like eating some food it's so cute
Alright everyone, I am back from uh, Kuala Lumpur. So um, uh, my parents um, and family, they went up to the buffet just to get some snacks. And, but meanwhile, I am going to head to Flowrider to um, uh, do a little surfing. Not really. Yeah, okay. yeah, technically I am going to do some surfing. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to get some footage because I'm, like, my phone is kind of dying and so I'm going to be charging it and stuff. So there's that. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to go get changed now. Okay, so update. Um, so unfortunately, Flowrider was closed for the day and turns out I needed to reserve like surf lessons. So yeah, a little bummer that happened. Eh, I'll probably just come like day four when we're all at sea and there's much more activities to do. So, yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna hang out by the pool. Probably just gonna go back to my cabin, just get, take a shower and like, yeah, just get ready, meet the, meet up my family and then just get ready for dinner. Um, uh, unfortunately, rock climbing um, was closed as well, so I went to go take a shower and um, basically get ready for dinner. That's pretty much it, but I mean, there's still like two more days on the cruise, so I shouldn't rush stuff. Dining restaurant, and um, here is my stuff, salmon gravlax. My aunt's got some tom yum soup. Yeah, I think some of us also got grab lax and tom yum as well. So here is our main courses. My dad got the steak. I got the pad thai. My aunt also got some biryani. And my also, and also a mom. We basically got like a lot, like almost the same thing except for my aunt who got the biryani. So gonna enjoy it. Dessert, a matcha passion fruit cake and um, some mango tapioca pudding. I think. So Anga will back with the Obviously, coffee. my mom got a chocolate cake. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is and, uh, She's like, she loves sometimes chocolate. We're on our way to the Botanical Gardens in Penang and it's already pouring. This is insane. There's like a ton of rain falling. Any minute now. There it is. 